Hey everybody, I'm Eric. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. We're going to be exploring the forest, uh, doing some adventures, getting in the outdoors. I've got my dog Jasper here with me. He's running around somewhere in behind me. You guys will get to know him too. Uh, so today we're just here in the forest uh, in eastern Ontario. Found a nice spot. We've got a nice rock outcropping behind us. A couple fallen trees, lots of firewood around. So a little flat site here. I think it'll be perfect for the tent. So we'll get set up and we'll check in again soon. That's right, move the snow. Here, get the stick. Another stick. Incoming. Okay, so we've got the tent set up. I just threw all the stuff inside for now, set up the mattresses and sleep bags later. Gear explosion back here. This tree gave me a, or the tree's roots gave me a nice spot to kind of set everything down. Not really in the snow, my jacket is, but who cares. More gear over here. Here's our big rock wall. I think that's where I'm going to build my fire. Alright, over here you can see I've started to clear the area. And... Then I can sit and lean up against this big pine tree here. And that's the plan for now. And there's Jasper still exploring. Jasper, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hey, buddy. So the area I've chosen uh, is mainly pines. And surprisingly enough, I don't see a single birch tree around, which means no birch bark to start a fire. So what we're going to do uh, is grab some of these grasses and hopefully they can get a fire started for us. They seem pretty dry, pretty brittle. I think they'll work. That should be enough. That's how it's done, right Jasper? So, in addition to those grasses we picked earlier, I found some dried out ferns. And because there's absolutely no birch in this forest, so we can't use the birch bark, I'm hoping this will do. I didn't bring any kindling, any fire starting device, no paper, no cardboard, so um, this is going to have to do. It's actually a live tree. It's just been crushed by this fallen one. haul for a minute's worth of work. Hey Jasper. Hi. Careful of the camera, buddy. No, no, no. These are my sticks. Okay, you can have that one. You can have that one. You can't have any more though. Nope. These are mine. Hey, hey, drop, drop, good boy. Go, go. Here 
You're right in the shot, buddy. Come on, get out of the way. That's right, there you go. Take that stick, off you go. Go find the squirrel. Get some twigs on. Some <coughs> really, really fine stuff. There we go. Now that we've got the fire started, we'll just throw on increasingly bigger dry sticks. I don't know about you guys, but I could just keep feeding a fire and stick by it all day. I love it. Sometimes even just finding a little twig like this and finding a spot for it to fit perfectly in the fire. Like right there, that thing's gonna burn perfectly. That thing right there. It's fun. It's kind of meditative. It's one of the things I love about being out in the bush. I brought my Silky Gomboy. Love this tool. Absolutely amazing. I call him Gomboy and bring him everywhere. My kids and my wife get frustrated when I ask where's Gomboy, but here's Gomboy. Give you a quick look. Nice tool. Click that. Folds up. Goes right into the handle. Perfect. This tree might not even need to be. The power of Gomboy, you don't even need to saw and the tree comes down out of fear of the Gomboy. Alright. Gomboy, you stay right there. Jasper, you stay over there. We'll saw them big and then we'll burn them down in the middle, rather than saw, um, you know, a normal sized piece of firewood. We'll saw it down big, throw it in the middle, and then when it burns through we can just toss the other two pieces on.
There's a tree growing out of the roots. A new tree. Huh. Come on, Jasper. Come on. Come on. Come. There you go. There you go, buddy. You did it. Gone boy by the power of Gone Boy. Right? <laughs> Alright, so I'll give you a quick tour of our campsite. So right behind me here, we have the fire. <clears throat> burning quite nicely right now. I guess the only unfortunate thing about the, the spot I chose is it's all pine. And uh, there's tons of it, so there's loads of firewood. Problem is, pine doesn't burn for very long, so you're constantly feeding the fire. And trust me, I've gone through a lot of wood already, it doesn't look like it, but... Um, yeah, if you're going to be collecting pine, I say collect whatever you think you might need and double that and double that again. So, uh, I've got some wood for the night, hopefully. There's the tent. We're all set up. I'm going to go in there right now and just get the beds made and probably start thinking about making some dinner. We've only got about two hours of sunlight left, so got to make the best of it so that I think it'll be dinner and then um, maybe grab a bit more firewood if I need some and then we'll be checking in for the night hopefully that goes well this will be my first time winter camping with Jasper so I'm really hoping that um, that he's okay in the tent that he's okay in his sleeping bag that he stays in his sleeping bag I think that'll be the biggest challenge and uh, yeah, if it works out, we'll do it again. If not, we'll have to rejig things and see how we can do it differently next time. All right, we'll check in again in a bit. Uh-oh, someone's got the zoomies. What are you doing, Jasper? What are you doing? What are you doing? So we've got camp really well set up. Jasper and I are just walking down to the end of this little point here. It's absolutely beautiful down here. It's all mossy, nice little stone path along the top. And you can see down at the end there, that's the beaver lodge. Those are the beavers that we've been seeing. Mr. and a Mrs. I suspect, there's two of them. Or two that we've seen, there might be others, I don't know. So I'm just walking through the bush here and you can see there's a beaver trail coming up from the lake. There's Jasper checking it out. Probably going up this little hill behind me here, up this way and then over to the pond on the other side. Here's another beaver run. They're all over the place through here. They just crisscross all over. From this little bay where the waterfall is, to the next bay over, and to a pond uh, kind of up a little slope here. Here's one of the footprints here. Ooh, scary hole in the rock. I always wonder what's in those. Goes up quite a ways. I can't see anything. I'm definitely not sticking my hand in there.
that's hard work. The idea is to get this giant rock way over there to the fireplace and use it either as a bench, because it looks like it'd be pretty cozy, or depending how I can work things out over there, um, even just uh, like a wind block and uh, to deflect the heat back. Anyways, this thing's heavy. Say hi to Jasper. <laughs> Thanks for that, buddy. All right, out of the way. Out of the way. Giant rock coming through. Yeah. And this way. That's comfortable. Perfect mold. Perfect for your bum. This is great. Fire right here. The big wall just reflects the heat right back. We'll protect it from the wind over there. There's a little rise, a little ridge. I even raise this up a bit. The idea. Once I get some coal from that, I can stuff a bit under here to warm up the rock, keep my uh, keep my buns nice and toasty. Oh, that's gonna be great. Yeah, I like this. Well done. Yeah, sturdy too. Really great to be out here. It's a beautiful spot. Like I was saying earlier, this is Jasper's first time um, winter camping. Anyways, he's been camping with us once. He's been canoeing with us a couple of times. He did well with that. He loves the outdoors, so we're really hoping to get him out here more often. So far so good. He's a little bit wet right now. I'm concerned about that. I'll have to get him over here by the fire and just get him dried off before we go to bed. It's starting to get dark out. I've only got maybe 20 minutes or so before the, the sun goes down to below the horizon. And then it'll be time to get the headlamp out and sneak into bed. I'm going to make myself some Chinese noodles so there's nothing too exciting about that. That'll be dinner. And then I'll crack open that Baltic Porter. And I think that'll be the night. And tomorrow, the uh, plan is we're going to... We'll break camp bright and early. I, I suspect we'll probably be up fairly early because I don't have a winter mattress. The R rating on that thing is like 0.2 or something ridiculous. Usually I think you want something that's at least four, if not six and, or higher. Um, so I, I suspect we'll probably be a bit chilly by the time we wake up. Uh, I brought Jasper's sleeping bag. It'll be interesting to see if he stays in it all night. My sleeping bag's rated to minus 18. It's supposed to be minus five degrees Celsius tonight, so I should be cozy. Um, yeah, so tomorrow morning we'll get up. We'll go out, see if we can spot the beavers and uh, that's pretty much it. We'll, we'll check out the waterfalls on the way out and away we go. Is there a man on the moon? Morning everyone, it's bright and early, 
Jasper and I had a bit of a rough night. Jasper especially was really cold. So uh, as soon as we got up this morning, I just packed up. We're back out on the road, uh, heading to the van. I've got every, all the gear there too. Gonna take a few parting shots of the little falls here. Absolutely gorgeous. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. And sorry for the bed head. I should have done my hair. All right, everybody. Cheers. All right, Jasper, come on. Let's go, buddy. Up. Oh, good boy. Do you have fun? Yeah, you'll be nice and warm in a few minutes. We'll get the heat on. Okay, sit. Good boy. Say bye.